A Rudy Poo candy ass. My new candy ass, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The man who wants to be the Democratic nominee for the President of the United States, trying to knock out President Biden. The man who is fully funded by Republicans. And when I mean fully funded, I mean by millions of dollars funded. But honestly, this guy, he's a conspiracy theory nut job worthy of QAnon. And I'm not saying this to be hyperbole. I'm saying this is the truth. But this time, this latest conspiracy of his crossed a lot of lines. The New York Times posted this article. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. airs bigoted new COVID conspiracy theory about Jews and Chinese. The long shot candidate for the Democratic presidential nomination has a history of embracing conspiracy theories. His latest comments claim that the virus spread through, through certain ethnic and religious groups. Not all of this is stemming from a video that was released from the, by the New York Post. I'm not going to show you that video because it's pretty damn sick. I'll tell you the comments of what exactly Robert Kennedy said. But other than that, I'm not showing you that video. You'll have to find it on YouTube yourself. I'm sorry, but I just can't. Quoting from the article, a conspiracy-filled rant by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. that the COVID-19 virus was engineered to spare anxiety Jews and Chinese people has stirred accusations of anti-Semitism and racism in the Democratic candidate's long-shot run for president. This is the red quote. COVID-19, there's an argument that is ethnically targeted COVID-19 attacks certain races disproportionately. This coming from Mr. Kennedy, he said this at a private gathering in New York that was captured on videotape by the New York Post. Quoting him again, COVID-19 is targeted to attack Caucasians and black people. The people who are most immune are Anzanzi Jews and Chinese, unquote. He says more, but honestly... It's pretty damn disgusting in my view. But the thing is, this is nothing this is par for the course for Donald for for this guy. God, I almost called him Donald Trump. Well technically he is Donald Trump. He just has a D on the, the next of his name. Anyway. Going on with the article, Mr. Kennedy has made his political career on false conspiracy theories, not just about COVID nineteen vaccines or but this proved the links between common childhood vaccines and autism, mass surveillance, and 5G cellular phone technology, ill health effects from Wi-Fi, and a stolen election in 2004 that gave the presidency back to George W. Bush. That last one, I don't... I'll balk on that. But in any case, <laughs> this guy is sick. Plain and simple. And more importantly, he's dragging down his family's name in this crap. But just like Tommy Tupperville or Donald Trump at times, he go, he turns to Twitter and tries to play down his remarks. Or tries to respond to them. And does a terrible job at that. Reading from his Twitter post, the insinuation by the New York Post and that and others that, as a result of my quoting a peer-reviewed paper on bioweapons, I am somehow anti-Semitic, is a disgusting fabrication. I understand the emotional pain that this, that these inaccurate distortions and fabrications have caused too many Jews who are called the blood libels of poison wells and deliberate spread of disease as the pretext for genocidal programs against their ancestors. My father and my uncles, John F. Kennedy and Senator Edward Kennedy, devoted enormous political energies during their careers to supporting Israel and fighting anti-Semitism. I intend to spend my political career making those families, those, excuse me, making those family causes my priority. So what about the Chinese, you dumb son of a bitch? 
because the Jews aren't the only ones who slander. First off, let's get this out of the way. The COVID-19 virus pandemic affected all of us around the world, not just the United States and not just the white people, not just the blacks, all of us. I didn't take a census as to how many blacks, how many Jews, how many Asians were, were hit with, vi- with the virus, how many survived or how many died. I didn't care. People, people, people died. I don't care how many were black or white or anything else like that. If, you're, if you have the inhumanity to even try to say that it's important because, oh God, I don't even know what is going on through, through this guy's head. But since you want to bring it up, Kennedy, let's bring it up, shall we? This rhetoric reminds me so much about the millions of times that a certain politician kept saying this is the China, the way he said, China virus. Do you know who said that phrase, the way he said China virus or Kung flu? Oh, that's right. It was this cocksucker. Kennedy, I'm just going to make it simple to you. You destroyed your family's legacy with this shit. You're not your father, and you're sure as hell not your uncle, John. But you know something? I wonder what really goes on in the heads of people like this who believe conspiracy theories like this. Do we need to find out exactly what, where this virus came from? Absolutely. But this is just plain and simple racist bile. The same kind of destructive racism that Adolf Hitler himself would applaud. And this little explanation of yours, trying to say that you're trying that you're the least racist, is the same BS that we saw when Tommy Tuberville and so many other Republicans in the GOP excuse me, the MAGA party have been pushing for years. The Jewish space lasers of Marjorie Taylor Greene for, for the prime example. Fact is, Kennedy, you made a fool of yourself and you disgraced your family, all of your family. My advice to you is to get out of this campaign of yours because you're not going to become the president. I'm not saying that Joe Biden will be, but you're not the one. You're funded by Republicans. That should then that in itself is a red flag for anyone out there paying attention. You're supported by Donald Trump, which is a definite red flag. And this, these comments. It shows to me that you're either a bigot and a racist or you're just a dumb shit. But the one thing I know that you are wholeheartedly is that you are nothing more than in a long, sad line. You are nothing more than a Rudy Poo candy ass. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.